cheeks. When he has been good, Philadelphia has won. When he has not been a factor, they have lost. It's as simple as that. Julia serving to Bobby Jones, right of the key, tie score. Because I think that if they get too far behind, they, they can't catch themselves the team. Julia serving, trying to get in the column, hits the outside shot. The doctor has hit just 45% from the field in this series. He's one for five in this game. Scoring has tapered off quite a bit after a sort of a high scoring first oh, quarter. And Julia Serving going to the hoop, getting started now with two baskets, one outside and one inside. And also, it takes that defense, uh, offense out, makes it start higher. And so the shot they get is not as easy a shot like that one. <laughs> Julia Serving on the break. Three baskets now and a five point right, lead. 13 seconds on the shot clock in one. Julius started by Maxwell, doubled by Bird. Caldwell Jones over McHale with a good play. Left-handed jump hook. Four minutes to play. Steal, Tony. He's got Irving and Cheeks. Irving. Basket counts and a foul. Julius Irving. And good delay. And Philadelphia is playing a rouse ball. They have gone from the Hunter, which they were after four games, to the Hunted after it's gone 3-3 with the Celtics, and so far it's been a quiet Boston Garden Court. The old fouls in the first minute and a half, Irving blocks it, here comes Cheeks, a three on one. Maurice Cheeks to Julius Irving, smooth as silk for Julius. And that's where the uh, Sixers usually run their break, is off for turnovers, steals, and block shots. Rebound on cars missed by Irving. He's three on two, Cheeks, pass break here. And he's got Tony, and Cheeks goes up and goes to the hook for the bucket. Carr went up against him, no foul, and Maurice Cheeks has 10 points in the ball game. Eight point lead, and a foul. Maxwell on the elbow, third on Maxwell, fourth team foul on the Celtics, and Julius Irving will shoot. Cheeks, wheel it around to Irving, Ainge double teams, Cheeks is open, and Mo hits the shot. So the two guards, Tony and Cheeks, have hit key baskets here, and Philadelphia opens it up to six again. Richardson is inside, and now Bantam has position inside. Julius Irving from the corner. Baseline shot by the dock, has 17 points. Eight this period. He is seven for 16 from the field. The clock winding down in the third period. Maxwell blocked by Julius Irving. Irving with the block shot, and 11 seconds to go. Philadelphia can open up their biggest lead. They've matched it right now at 10. Three seconds. Julius, long range bomb is good at the buzzer. And so we have the sounds of silence in Boston Garden. After three periods of play, if you had to drag them out of the coffin, the Philadelphia 76ers are very much alive. They have a 12 point lead, 12 minutes to go in the seventh and deciding game. Bird triple teamed inside. Finds the open man, Henderson, steal by Irving. Julius has Clint Richardson, but takes it himself and a foul. And there they go, the doctor's up. You know, he started slow in terms of uh, shooting. Julius Irving, he has found his shooting eye from outside in this game. He has 23 points and Fitz wants a timeout. Irving, what a pass and what a play. Julius Irving, who gets the bucket. The Celtics really have to put on a Frank Merriwell effort here to win this game. Tony off the mark. Irving. They've got to get it down with less than two. And a turnover, and that can kill you at this stage. Richardson to Julius. And they'll call a foul on Boston. On the elbow. Jack McMahon, the assistant coach with Matt Gukas up. Harris going to the hoop. Knocked away by Mo Cheeks and a turnover. And ahead of the field is Andrew Tony. And the Philadelphia 76ers are going to be on their way to the World Championship Finals. Our Miller most valuable player is going to be Julius Irving. Julius Irving is going to be our Miller most valuable player. Thousand dollar donation will be made to the Special Olympics on behalf of Julius Irving. And you hear the crowd is chanting to the Sixers, beat L.A. Beat L.A., that's great. Let's listen. Jim Harrington, executive producer. Michael Burks, our producer. Marvelous people in our production truck and the technician. Sandy Grossman, our director, and the rest of them. Joan Vetrano celebrating another birthday. And that's going to be it. The Philadelphia 76ers are in the dressing room on their way. They have won the Eastern Conference Championship 120 to 106 in a shocker.
over the Boston Celtics in a game that no one thought the Sixers could win. No one, with the possible exception of the Sixer players themselves.